today in this video I'm going to be covering a couple of Sagajewia coins that I received out of a vending machine in California in early 2000. This one that I'm going to be comparing right here is a second 2000 P that I discovered out of the 4,000 coins that I received for change out of this vending machine. The 2001 P Sagajewia apparently had experimental rinse applied to try to stop the spotting on the manganese surface of these golden dollar coins. This one first is a regular Sagajewia received from the vending machine. And this is what they look like. They're a nice gold, shiny brass finish, manganese finish. And this one here is a 2000D. These were first coming out in 2000 and being introduced into the vending machines in California and around the country. The 2000Ds, which are Denver Mint, were on the West Coast. 2000Ps would be on the East Coast. The 2001Ps that were discovered with the experimental rinse to stop the spotting, they were Philadelphia Mint Marks, but 2001s. Now this 2000P that came out of the vending machine with all the other 2000 D's and one other 2000, and P, 2000 P that I found so far in the ones that I saved appears to be a reddish brown overtone uh, and kind of a chemical stuck to it and applied. This is a 2000P, which actually was in California and came out of this vending machine with all the other 2000Ds, which really shouldn't happen. This early in the introduction, they should all be Ds out of that mint bag that they were dumping into this machine. Now this does have a couple marks. It has marks on the edges. Um, like some of the other 2001's are explained to have some marks on the edges. Also it does have a rim around the edge uh, where it's higher than the rest of the coin. But this reddish brown film that's on this coin appears on the 2001 experimental rinse golden dollar coin that I purchased uh, on eBay and I cover that in one of my other videos but this red tint is also around the border and around the edge of that coin and it has a red overtone now uh, even on the edge is thick, a thick film, and then even on the back of this coin there is this red around the border, just like the 2001, that's the experimental rinse. This is a 2000P. Okay, now and this 2000P, here's the regular one, here's the 2000P that came out with all those Denvers, which probably shouldn't even have been in uh, California in that mitt bag. And I covered another coin in my other um, video uh, comparing it. And this is that coin here, which this is a 2000 D. 
that came out of that same vending machine. And it has chips on the edges uh, and on the surface a little bit, but it's also got this reddish brown film on the coin. Underneath it's a nice, uh, red, nice golden red brown color where this didn't stick, this stuff. Maybe it was like dipped uh, in a solution. Maybe this experimental rinse solution. You can see where another coin laid on this coin here. Um, well, the solution dried or something, or was drying, or these were discarded because they just didn't come out right. Um, the 2000 uh, Ds, like this coin, were n was thought not to exist. However, in 2006, an experimental rinse coin now has been encapsulated by uh, PCGS. So we know that they did. Uh, there's very high likelihood that they did test the experimental rinse in Denver also. This could very well be one of those tests that did not work. And they had disregarded the coins, dollar coins. But this 2000 P shouldn't have been in the same mint bag. These coins came out together uh, pretty close to the same change. I think these two were in the same exact handful of change with 20 coins. I used $20 bills uh, and received the change. These two were together in the same batch. So these were in that bag together with the same color, two different mint marks. Um, and I'm trying to get to the bottom of how these would even be in the same bag. There has to be some type of records somewhere um, that the mint has of uh, maybe they were going to remelt these and they got stuck in the bottom of the bag together but they, the Denver and Philadelphia in the same bag is very very um, rare it's very rare uh, to have the same color um, and same mint marks in the same bag in the first introduction now the experimental rinse was, was placed on these coins uh, to stop the spotting. Some of it worked, I guess, and some did not. Um, and these a few brown 2001s were discovered, but not the not these. There's been a few. I've seen a few online, of course, and uh, of brown of a brown color, but these have this red in them also which the 2001 D experimental rinse looks like it has our 2000 P I'm sorry 2001 P experimental rinse does have this reddish overtone um, these are my discoveries direct from a vending machine these things didn't go anywhere besides the mint in the bag dumped in that postal machine and to me. So I'm very confident that these are real. Um, real and I am researching what happened to them. I do a lot of research looking around to see what was used and uh, what else is being discovered. Uh, and hopefully um, one day uh, the answer will will turn up. Uh, I did have called the Mint. I did call the Mint and talk to them. Um, and I guess they and they said they were, weren't disclosing it, uh, what they used, uh, the procedures or the chemicals they used. And also, um, there's a letter that I've read online that says uh, the same thing, that um, I think it referred to, one of them referred to... Uh, 
um, so you could uh, counterfeit them or, or exactly copy whatever they did. They weren't going to disclose um, their procedures. So please subscribe. I'm, I still have more uh, that I did get out of this vending machine, and I will be covering those. Uh, this one right here, uh, I will be comparing to some other ones that I received to, uh, to try to get a little more into the bottom of w that these two di uh, came out of the machine together. And I surely appreciate any comments and all comments because every comment that I get on anybody that's received a color like this um, with the certain mint marks on them, the 2000s, uh, I surely appreciate it because it does help me take a look at what's out there. So please subscribe and comment and share this so that other people can uh, look into it too because I'm sure they received a couple of these coins also. Thank you so much and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, video.